what in the world is going on? Matthew Stafford just got traded to the Los Angeles Rams. Adam Schefter was on that grind. He broke the news 35, 45 minutes ago. Um, let me just read the trade details real quick. Detroit is dealing Matthew Stafford to the Rams in exchange for two future first-round picks, a third-round pick, and QB Jared Goff. Yes, the two players you see in my background. This is the first blockbuster trade of 2021. We're going to react to it. We're going to be the first people to react to it. Kevin, who won the trade? Yeah, I think this is a win-win trade. Um, I know a lot of people right now are saying the Lions fleeced the Rams, but honestly, it does not matter what the cost was uh, for the Rams because Matthew Stafford gives them a chance to not only win the NFC West, but go to the Super Bowl. If we look at the Los Angeles Rams the past few years, the biggest hindrance to this team was not faulty uh, defense, was not faulty wide receiver play or running back play. It was Jared Goff's inconsistent play. Sean McVay is an offensive genius, and the fact that Jared Goff could, was, couldn't do uh, exceedingly well in that system just shows how mediocre Jared Goff is. Matthew Stafford gives a next-level quarterback play to this Rams offense. Sean McVay did not have trust in Jared Goff all year, played John Wolford over him. So, yes, this is a huge, huge win for the Rams, but also the Lions because they get a lot of picks for their future. Yeah, they say the average lifespan of a defense is three to five years, and the Rams' defense is certainly towards the end of that window, possibly. And so this is a win-now type of move. And Matthew Stafford, I like the idea of him in a Sean McVay offense. Geoff A., who wins a trade? Yeah, I completely agree with Kevin. I think it's a win-win for both teams. So as for the Rams, they were a great defense last year. They had great weapons last year. They had a great running back with a lot of potential last year. But guess what? They only made it to the divisional round. And that's because of their quarterback, Jared Goff. Jared Goff just isn't good. He's a trash quarterback. They paid him a huge contract. They had to get rid of that contract. And they did. And here's why I think it's a great trade for the Lions. The big thing here is that Dan Campbell's contract is for, is for six years. It's not a short contract, it's a long contract. It's a alliance organization building for the long term, not the short short term. So because of this, I think the Lions are going to be a bad team for the next few years, but they have, they're have they going to have two first-round picks in 2022 and 2023. And I think because of that, the Lions and the Rams both went straight. Just curious, do you guys think, do any of you think that Jared Goff is a potential loser in this trade? Oh, definitely. He's going from Los Angeles to Detroit. He's going from Sean McQuaid to Dan Campbell, who is in his first year of coaching. This is def definitely a loss for J Jared Goff. Yeah, I would agree with that sentiment. Uh, going to Detroit, especially when they're in a rebuilding phase, is not the best for a quarterback like Jared Goff. But I also add one more thing. The big winner from this trade is the Houston Texans because of what uh, the Lions got in return. I mean, uh, for uh, Matthew Stafford, two first round picks for a 32 year old quarterback. Imagine what Deshaun Watson, a franchise quarterback at 25 years old, is going to yield, especially when you don't have Bill O'Brien as your general manager. Now you got Nick Casario. You got some competent people in that front office. I can only just imagine like three, four, maybe even five first-round picks for Deshaun Watson. This is going to be a crazy, crazy offseason. Yeah, I was, I was about to go to bed, but this QB carousel is heating up. Um, stay tuned. We're going to have more breaking news coming soon, and I'm all for it. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel, the M2M Network, for more sports and entertainment content.